Today we're in Deuteronomy chapter 17, and it deals with, well, three specific things. The law, it deals with leaders, and it deals with leaving a legacy. So we're going to talk about those three. Moses tells the children of Israel that if there is a law broken and there is a person found guilty, that it requires more than just one witness. He's laying the groundwork for, for legal issues. He said it has to have at least two witnesses, and those witnesses, if the person is found guilty who broke the law and it requires a penalty of death, those witnesses have to be the one who casts the first stone at the person they've convicted. And what it's doing, it's giving not only responsibility for what they've said, but now they've got to live with the fact that they actually, well, they themselves personally administered the penalty. So he begins to lay this foundation for the law and witnesses, keeping things just and right. And then he talks about leaders. And he says, those who disrespect the judges and the priests and the Levites when difficult cases are brought to them, well, they will pay a price personally for disrespecting the legal representatives of God's law. He is creating respect for those who administer the law. And then he finally, he deals with legacy. He deals with kings who are one day going to be appointed as rulers over Israel. And he lays down some very specific, well, guidelines, outlines, and directives for a king of Israel. Listen to some of those. He shall not multiply horses for himself, nor cause the people to return to Egypt to multiply horses. For the Lord has said, you shall not return that way again. No going back to Egypt. And in 17, neither shall you multiply wise for himself, lest his heart turn away, nor shall he greatly multiply silver and gold for himself. In other words, the king is not to build his own kingdom with horses and gold and wise, because here's the principle. Where your treasure is, that's where your heart is. So God is dealing with this whole nation and the leaders and the legacy and the law. And let me just close with this. Part of that legacy has to do with God's word. And the king would have to personally write out the law and keep a scroll with himself all the time and to read it every day. Listen to this. And it shall be with him the scroll and he shall read it all the days of his life that he may learn to fear the Lord his God and be careful to observe all the words of this law and these statutes, that his heart may not be lifted up above his brethren, that he may not turn aside from the commandment to the right or the left, and that he may prolong his days in his kingdom and his children in the midst of Israel. That's his legacy. How to keep the heart right, how to keep from being puffed up, how to let your treasure get confused and misconstrued. Well, the word. Read it every day, write it out, memorize it. That's what's happening with the king. And you know what? It's also good for king's kids, you and I, to stay in the word, to keep our hearts humble, and to know that we can leave a legacy with something that's real and something that's true. So Deuteronomy chapter 17 deals with law, it deals with the leaders, and it deals with a legacy based on God's word.